Hey, welcome back. And I need a new spawn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today we're back with another solo bus stop video. Seeing as you guys enjoyed it so much the first time, I decided to do it again, but this time in a completely new location, near to some unique monuments I was keen to explore. We're closing in on 50,000 subscribers, which is mental. And if you want to help me reach that goal by the end of the summer, I'd greatly appreciate it. Let's go, dude. Today was also wipe day, seconds after the server restart, and with no blueprints, I wanted to get underway as quickly as possible, traversing the island to the bus stop of my choice. Could definitely try to get a bow. Oh, we can get a bow. That's actually perfect. Oh, someone's at the silo. Okay, I think we just head up the cliff now. Oh. Because I don't know if people know about this bus stop spot, so I kind of want to be the first one there. Should be. Gonna ditch the horse quickly. Should be just up here. Here it is. Oh! This guy there. This isn't good because I'm 1 HP. Oh no. I'm out of arrows. <laughs> I bled out. No way. No way. No way. He's going to take the spot. He's going to take it. I had located the bus stop, but I had died. I knew I needed to get back ASAP or this wipe could be over before it even begun. Oh, no, he's there. He didn't take it. That's him. Wait, wait, he could have taken it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not. No, no, no. He could have taken it. Hold up. Oh, my God. I'm actually quite nervous. Oh, my God. He didn't take it. Yes. He didn't take it, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I was so worried. I was so worried. The bus stop was up for grabs, but it was no means secure. I had to get a move on and try my best to secure it, but with the countless numbers of naked spawning on the beach nearby, this was going to be a challenge. Nice. He actually had like some components. Okay, let's get our bag down in here. Let's go. Yeah, I want to try something different. Last time I did triangles, I think I'll try squares. Square foundations. Yeah, that could work. Oh, that is actually really nice. Yeah, I could definitely do this. TC here. Like that. Oh, I don't have enough stone. Oh, I don't have enough wood. Okay, BLB. <laughs> oh, nice. I'll pick him up. Oh, or not. <laughs> oh. No. It's actually so good. It was tough out here for me, and with my tool covered on a twig foundation, it was very easily breakable, meaning someone could just take it over for themselves. So yet again, time was not on our side at the beginning of this wipe. We should have enough stone. Yeah. So we can at least stone the foundation. <laughs> Let's go. Step in the right direction. <laughs> There's a... That was like a four man, I think. I think I'm just going to run away from my area just for the minute. It seems ridiculously popped. Like, there's people everywhere. And if I get these cloth nodes, I can actually get a bow, which is pretty cool. <laughs> well, I should probably get some wood to finish the base. I forgot I don't even have one. That would probably be in my best interest. 
There's also a new monument which is just here called Collapse Tunnel which I definitely need to check out. I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to Hapis so it's going to be the first time I'm checking it out and probably the first time you'll be seeing it as well. There's definitely some cool spots on this map like Girl Tower, Outpost B3, Site C, like there's so much to explore. Do I have enough to finish this? I don't think I do. Um, we can try. We'll do the door here. Yeah, no, I don't. I should probably also mention I have zero blueprints, literally nothing, so it's going to be a grind. It's going to be a difficult wipe, I think, but I'm down for the grind. Who isn't? The solo grind. Everybody loves it. Let me on. Oh my god, it's tanked my... No. <laughs> Please die. Yes, finally. Ooh, does that mean the Collapse Tunnel Monument has scientists? I sound like that's where it came from. And we are finally secured. Oh. Well, let's get to work, I guess. We should make a little airlock, I think. Definitely. Get some food. Nice. Wait. No way. <laughs> Dude, nah. Look at that. That's... Yo, way, 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 way. How have I only just noticed? Callie's Chad, stop. Oh my god, that is so sick. Wow, that is wholesome. Oh, huh. Still in awe at my very own bus stop. I explored my area a little bit more. Oh no. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, he might die full damage. Oh, he just broke his legs. I think. Yeah, he did. Oh! Nice. I want his bow though. There it is. Let's go. Oh no. He doesn't know. He, he doesn't know I'm just running. He does now, but he's too far away, I think. Oh. I'm going to quickly get this stone node here. I think I'll be okay. Oh yeah. Let's go. Straight away. Time for a bit of upgrading. Perfect. Fully stoned up. Nice, dude. Nice. I just realised some people might now think that this is modded because of that. I promise you this is not a modded server. Here we go. This is what I'm on. Rust by the EU Zen Labs. So yeah, just in case you guys uh, were a bit sceptical. I'm sure you weren't, but there was probably one or two of you that were like, hmm, that's a bit weird. But yeah, that is sick. So sick. As the first night cycle loomed over the island, I decided to hunker down inside my base, placing down my first furnace. Yeah, that monument definitely has scientists. So I guess I'll be careful when I travel up there. Damn, pretty eventful first day on the server, but good nonetheless. We secured the bus stop. Callie's Chad stop. Metal door down. We should be pretty safe for now. Yes. Was I never recording? No way. Basically, I'm just exploring this new monument. And it's so sick. There's even a recycler here. So there's like some spawns in here. There's a recycler. There's some more spawns. This is a really nice, like, rad town for me to have. It's really small as well. And it's just above my base. I'm definitely going to be here a lot. So even if I didn't record it, you didn't miss out on anything. My first run at the Collapse Tunnel was a success. Getting me enough scrap to place down a tier 1 workbench, allowing me to craft better weaponry. Hey. Oh no. 
Oh no. I think he has a pistol. I'm pretty sure I saw like or a nail gun. I want the polar bear though. Oh, sucks. I missed. That's a hit though. Come on, let's go. I think I saw a pump on his back. It's a water pipe. Just gotta keep my range. No way. Yeah, that's GG. Oh! What the heck? What's that about? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I can try and chase him, I guess. Try and catch up to him. There he is. Let's go! Yes! Nice, nice, nice. Yes, dude! That was perfect. I'm just gonna send the horse down there. I don't want it to be associated with my base. Keep going, horsey. Nice man. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. I can now run crossbow now gun as well, which is huge. Ah, oh, and yeah, there is a scientist that spawns there. Okay. It's good to know. There's also a guy here, which is good to know as well. Oh, he's dead. I recognise the same guy. I can't believe I missed that crossbow. What the heck? He had another water pipe. Oh, I'm so lucky. Yo. Oh my gosh. Get me the heck out of here, dude. Still not sure where this guy lives, but I mean, right now I don't really need to know. It's not... Oh no, I see him coming. He's gonna know. He's gonna know. I just saw him. He lives like up just up the hill there. At this moment in time, I didn't really need to know where he lived, but I would definitely like to know for future reference, but that could wait for now. Here he comes, on the horsey. This might be stupid. I don't know what gun he has. I don't want him to know I live here though. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, that's really good. But, I mean, if he puts two and two together, I obviously live here, which, oh, I'm just really lucky he's a solo player. So yeah, at least I know he lives in, like, that direction, just up on the hill. Okay, two furnaces. Very awesome. I should probably do a little bit of upgrading, actually. Maybe get some stone. Make a second floor and do honeycomb, or like do um, a jump up maybe. Yeah, I should definitely do that. There we go, our first BP of the wipe. <laughs> I mean, considering I'm here, I may as well check this out real quick. Oh, okay, so I can use my green card here. Really good to know actually, that's really good to know. Okay, good thing I came up here. And we made it with an inventor farm. Let's go, this is awesome. I'm chasing him. Come on! <laughs> Come on! There you go. Can't see a thing. I got him. I can't see a thing. Oh, mail hatchet. Yes. Yes. And a jacket as well. Yeah, we made it finally. Just hope no one's here. I'm just going to go straight in. Hopefully it gives me a blue card. That'd be nice. Again, I've never been here before. Looks just like an airfield tower though. 
few bits and pieces. Oh, it's a recycler. It's pretty handy. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's um let's head down into the pit. What on earth is down here? Ooh. Not gonna be so Oh mailbox. A mailbox in a green card room. What the heck? Okay, this is a pretty cool little space actually. All right, let's go. Hey. Okay, furnace is refueled and I think it's time to expand. My last bus stop base had a bunker and I didn't want this one to be an exact copy. So instead I changed it up and I'm so glad I did because this bus stop base turned out amazing. Is this going to be a bit awkward? Getting in's okay. It's just getting out. I've got to be a bit more careful with. That'll be okay. We are relatively secure now, actually. But eventually, this whole bus stop will be enclosed. You won't even be able to see it from the outside. It's going to be perfect. Yeah, when I get a garage door here, it won't be a problem. But now I'll just have to live with it. It's okay. And I think what we should do, just to be extra, extra secure, is sheet metal the top here. White in the snow. Will look awesome. Uh, let's do it outwards. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Small battery. <clears throat> oh, that scared me. This was one of my neighbours and the guy I had been fighting most of the day. He was now much further progressed than me, meaning I would need to go elsewhere to try and get some solid progression. I went over to his base to see how his base was progressing, as this intel would be important if I was later in a position to raid him. Okay, well at least I know exactly where he lives, alright? And with that, I headed west to Junkyard to continue farming some scrap. Hey, this Junkyard looks so different. I think it is. No way. Solar panel, let's go. Green card. Oh damn, two naked crossbow players? He ran so far. No way. We're doing it. Ah, uh, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> That's awkward. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to leave. I don't really like this area. Scary. I mean, I got a heater and a solar panel, so that's actually kind of huge. Two really important things. The heater, not so much, but because I'm in the snow, it's going to come in handy. <laughs> Metal node at my doorstep, that's quite nice. Oh, 
All right, I guess I'm going to be heading back towards Junkyard. Yeah. I think that's the best thing to do. Let's take a little bit of Logi. Hopefully I'm not getting door camped. Oh, and he had the card. That's pretty nice. I don't know what that guy has. I think he has a saw. What is that? What is that? Like? Thompson. <laughs> He's just running. Oh, fair enough, I guess. Oh. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. BP right there. Yes. If I could get this revolver back to base, I could research it, making it my first weapon of the wipe. It would be much easier to make a play for a better weapon now. Revolver back to base. Awesome. Let's go. Should be good enough for another box here. I hope. Okay. Oh. Awesome. This monument is so good, man. It's so cool. There's so many like boxes and stuff as well. It's like the perfect, perfect solo monument, literally. Um, <laughs> they even own a tugboat. I think that's the four man I saw at the start of the wipe. It would make sense that that is. They're not too close to me actually, so it shouldn't be a worry. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's what happens with these larger groups. They just kill people and just don't bother looting. Oh, I do see someone I'm trying to jump up there, but I'm on HP, so I think I'll just go straight in for the revolver kill. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Okay. My gosh. Oh, I can basically craft infinite revolvers to be honest, so we ain't worrying about that. No way. Oh, electric furnace! Yo! It's huge. Your military crates, please give me a gun. Oh! No way! I need to go. I need to go. Dude, having no BPs just makes things so much more hype. Let's just literally just set this one up. May as well. We can pick it up and research it when we want to. But for now, we may as well just, uh, just use it. Yay. Did two workbench. The most basic setup in the world. But it's a setup that works, so, you know, can't really complain. Just like that. Boom. 
Getting this airdrop was huge and almost a guaranteed researchable tier 2 weapon, but I was definitely not calling it in yet. With the big group down the hill from me and my solo neighbour on the other side, I would have to wait until night time for the best chance of securing it. Oh, he has P2! I think he found the P2. He's gotta be dead. He's gotta be dead, dude. Yes! P2, he had to have found that, I think. Yep, oh my gosh! Oh my god! What? What has he done to get all this scrap? I have to... 650 scrap, are you kidding me? Dude, that is... Enough for the garage door and I've researched my P2. No! No, no, no. <laughs> That's so insane. This single kill was a massive boost, letting me get one of the most crucial blueprints in the game, the garage door, and even a blue card, meaning I could run the missile silo later on into the wipe when I got better weapons. Yep, and we can get garage door. Nice. What a kill, dude. What a kill. Let's go. Okay, let's craft up. Yeah, let's craft up a G door. Um... We'll do the new skin this week. We'll do three of them as well. One. Two. Oh, that is an unreal garage door. No way. That is incredible. <laughs> there we go. We're actually quite secure in here with these garage doors. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, boys. I have the P2, so... Oh, no, I should have done the... Oh, I should have done the garage door trick. Whoops. That's, oh. As night time fell, it was the perfect opportunity to call in my airdrop for some higher tier loot. Dude, that smoke is not good. It's so visible. Get it and dip the hell out of her. Double saw. Nice, man. And scrap as well. It's perfect. Oh, that's actually that's such a good airdrop. And two satchels. Oh. I can, dish, I can learn one and recycle one for bean can. This yet again helped me massively, getting myself two SARS and two satchels for raids. Everything was going perfect. Perfecto. I think I can actually place these small boxes underneath as well. Yeah, I can. Huge. There we go. I guess with this scrap I'm going to learn med. And... Yeah, we'll just take a SAR out. Why not? Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, you literally had nothing. Poor guy. My bad. Oh my god, 400 scrap. I can tech tree to ladder and then expand my base. That's the goal. Or well, that's the plan, should I say. There we go, that'll be fine. Let's get to work tech tree and down to uh, the good old ladder. Perfect. I had a decent amount of farm now, so before anything else, I wanted to upgrade the base again, making it as strong as I possibly could at this stage in the wipe. Let's place a ladder this side for exit purposes. Right. So 100%, we are honeycombing this. Without a doubt. And I'm going to be honeycombing this for sure. What about if I go... Okay, yeah. Has to be two triangles. That way no one can see in. Or at least it's very awkward to see in.
So now we can add floors down here. Oh my god. Get me the hell inside. <laughs> the full kits are coming over. What is this? What I'm... Is this? Is this a trap base? No, no, no. I was up. I was upgrading my base. If I, if I'm, if I'm jumping down here, am I gonna get six on? <laughs> I mean, if you want. <laughs> Hello, bro. Wait, are you a solo? Are you a solo? Yeah, dude. Do you wanna do hey, wait, do you want to do, do, hey, you sound like fucking Shad, do you wanna join our team? So we don't kill you? We don't wanna kill each other, you know? Uh, yeah, sure. We like inviting solo players to our circle. It's, it's sad to kill solo grinders. Ah, uh, thank you, man. Uh, I appreciate it. A good one. Tell, t yeah, type, in, type in chat if, so, if someone raids you or a door camps you or anything, we come. Okay, thank, thank you guys. Yes! Dude, that's like the best thing that could have happened. Oh, okay. That's nice. The big group had now allied with me, which was amazing news. I could now take missile silo relatively uncontested, as they wouldn't come to camp to me and I wouldn't have to worry about dying to the local six man. I was in the team UI, but don't worry, I would continue solo for the most part. Oh, that's wholesome. Not everyone is toxic in Rust. This is really awkward now because I'm like half level up. I think I could have a pretty cool loot room here, right? Maybe... Something like this. So in my head here, I'm thinking we can have some loot space and then a little bedroom. And I can put my bed in here, which would be nice. Yeah, it definitely works. That's pretty cool. Front door there. <laughs> Cheeky little naked. Okay. I mean, it's definitely unique and different, right? That's what I like about bases. Yeah, why not, man? Why not? I'd rather have a good time in this base, you know, than... Make it like try hard. And this definitely does look cool to me. I like this. Okay, that works awesome. That works awesomely. And I'm hoping this isn't like going to be difficult. If I was to place this here. Ah, yeah, I can't. Okay, can I still demolish? I can. So here I'm just going to have a simple wall. This can be like a little peak. Yeah, nice. That works really well. And then we do that and that. And that is every soft-sidable spot. Oh, these aren't really soft-sidable, but they could be potentially. So I'll do it just in case. These are from outside, and then obviously just want to sheet metal that. Oh yeah, place my bed. Bed, nice. Okay, lock that, and um, we'll put one here as well. And lock that, there we go. Obviously, hopefully, in, in the end, this will also be a ladder hatch soon as well, when I can get it. But yeah, this is, without a doubt, very good wipe day. And that was the end of my wipe day. Confident that my base would survive the night, I logged off and prepared myself for an action-packed day two. Okay, so it seems like we survived, but we've been kicked from the team. <laughs> so that was a uh, very long-lasting alliance. <laughs> the first mission of the day was to get some upkeep and smelt some ore in the furnaces. That looks so weird. <laughs> and after the small farming run, I ran Collapse Tunnel and got enough scrap to tech tree to Molotov, allowing me to do some early morning raids. Oh yeah. I've bought a spare door along with me as well, just in case. Because I always come underprepared to raids. 
And everyone in the comments are like, you should at least bring a door with you. <laughs> so you know what? I will. Hopefully this hasn't been raided. Oh, oh, a suppressor. No way. Suppressor is actually kind of huge. Should I break these? Oh, why not? Okay, okay. Yep, that was profit. <laughs> that was profit. Damn. No sleepers or workbench or anything in there, which is interesting. We've got a lock TC in there, so no one will be taking that over anytime soon. Gonna quickly check this base out though as well, while I'm here. Ah, uh, this one's been raided already. Honestly, I'm gonna lock this as well. Hmm. Okay. Let's skin that up as well. I want to add an oil refinery here, but I can't low. Hmm. I think this is a good way of covering the back, right? I don't even need the squares, which is good. Yeah, this is a good way, I think. This works fine. Now nobody knows that this is a bus stop. It is impossible to know. Unless you saw the base before this stage, you would have no way of telling it's a bus stop, which is what makes this particular base so good to live out of because of how strong it really is. Here we go, now we can worry about the entrance. So what I'm thinking is we have like this, and we have the entrance here and then goes into an oil refinery. Yep, I think that's what we do. Oh wait. <laughs> there we go. Yo, what up dog? <laughs> I was about to go on a quick little farming run, but hold up. Oh uh, yeah, not bad. I guess, not bad. Coming along nicely. I'm, I'm definitely going to be honeycombing this uh, sheet metal bit here. Other than that, the base is looking nice. I'm going to try and add a shooting floor as well, of course, later on. But yeah, looking good, dog. Looking good. Dude, <laughs> aiming down is so hard. It's like the one aiming up and down is so difficult. For me anyway, maybe I'm just a, a noob. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of stuff. It's okay. Poor guy. <laughs> okay. What do we do here then? Okay. 
Yeah. Ooh. Definitely be taking that. Yeah, let's get out of here. That <laughs> guy was loaded. Okay. Uh, I think throughout the night I'm going to do some box organization. I think I desperately need it. Okay, we are all organized. So we have some farm, just some lower tier stuff, food, the good box, I guess you can call it. And then these two are just sort of random, but like better sort of gear and weapons. And then this is components. We actually have a lot of components. And with some of the components, I decided to do a quick recycle run at the collapsed tunnel. Two hundred scrap, awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go. Okay, I actually have a ridiculous amount of like metal and high qual, so I need to do something about that. I think I'm just gonna upgrade loads of my base in the morning. I think that's the only thing I can do, really. And I may as well do the top side as well. Perfect, dude. This is actually a strong base. I could have included a bunker. And I, I easily could have. But I included a bunker in the last build. In the last bus stop build. And I feel like if you're going to be doing a bunker in a bus stop, they're all very similar. So it's like quite difficult to make something unique, you know? But I mean, I mean, without a bunker, it's definitely okay though. Especially if you build it up, make it like as beefy as you can, which is what I'm obviously aiming to do. <laughs> Dude, is that like the longest train in the, in the game? What the heck? It's so, so loud. Dude. Oh my <laughs> He's not going to be solo, is he? What the heck? Oh no. It's the guys. Oh no. I need to apologize. If I didn't give back some of what I stole, I was insta raided. <laughs> so I did the most sensible thing. I also got back into a team of them which was nice, and as night fell, I set up an automatic smelter system after crafting up some more electrical furnaces. Yeah, this should work, if it doesn't, time to cry me a river. Yay! And it takes it out, Hey, It's a bit messy, but it does the job right, that's all that matters. No! Dude, that was that would have been so awesome. I didn't know there was three of them. I thought I won. Jump up being here. I have to do a ladder hatch because it's like a really awkward height. That's not a problem. We can do that. This works perfectly. Triangle ladder hatch. And now everything is at the same height. So we can do the shooting floor when it comes to it. Perfect.
so very simple very simple shooting floor i think the only problem is i suck at shooting floors man and i actually don't really know what to do i never really do shooting floors to be honest uh. <laughs> Okay, well, it's kind of goofy, but I mean, it works, right? It does work. In fact... Oh, I need wood. Okay, I have five scrap, and I want to learn satchel and bean can. So I can do some raids. But obviously, I'm going to need scrap. So I think what I'll do is I'll go again to missile silo this time hopefully complete it <laughs> and uh and yeah hopefully i'll get enough scrap oh my god <laughs> oh, locker it's pretty good bp actually there's just so many mill crates what oh my in there here Nice, dude. Let's go. I came out of silo with my pockets filled to the brim with good loot, and definitely a lot of scrap, so I could for sure research bean can and satchel. But for now, I decided to finish the base, as I would need to wait for a lot of sulfur to smelt in order to raid who I wanted. And I'm sure you could probably guess. <laughs> Why is this the world's longest train? Oh my god, he just got flattened. Oh my god. Where the heck did his Sargo? That is the question. Oh, here it is. <laughs> hmm, okay, thank you very much. I will uh, resume building. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I guess. Why not? Awesome base. Awesome, awesome base. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is complete. <laughs> It's, it is goofy, I won't lie. But like, it is not bad. It's like a, it's like a good goofy, you know? Oh, that was terrible. Satchels though, I keep getting satchels from them. It's awesome. Yeah, let's get the heck out of here. I think I've got 900 scrap. Yep. Get me home. Okay, yep. Let's get oil refinery and locker at the same time, which is awesome. Costs a lot, but I mean, it, I guess it's worth it. Locker. And a lovely little kit to go in there. 
Nice, man. Let's go. Let's go. I think you guys know who I wanted to raid. My solo neighbour from the beginning. I hadn't seen him for a while and he was the only person that had given me some trouble to swipe. So with the four satchels, I headed over to see what was through that first door. Yeah, okay. Is it worth me soft siding? It, it could be. Is that a foundation? Yeah, it is a foundation. What the heck? I'm gonna soft side that. Seeing that soft sided wall, I couldn't resist spearing my way through it, potentially leading deeper into the base without wasting any more explosives. Oh my god, you're kidding me. So it's just honeycomb, right? Uh, <laughs> what the f an AK? What is that? Oh my god, it is. What? What? Oh. What? <laughs> it's gone. No way. Let's go. AK, baby. I borrowed a jackhammer from my neighbours because seeing another soft sided wool, I couldn't help myself. I needed to see if it got me anywhere. I could also use it to farm more sulfur if needed, so it was a win. Bro, this is so strange. Like, what is the point in this? <laughs> okay, um, yeah, we're just gonna go through doors. Not really a problem. I'll leave the tier one there, it doesn't really need to come back to base with me. Okay. That explains the foundations. Two sheet metal doors here, I think. Ah, uh, so there's one. Wait, let me calculate this real quick. So I blew up, blew up, blew up. So there's going to be one more, two, three. So 12 satchels. Most probably gonna have a door on TC so potentially 16 satchels which is obviously like a farm for that it's not really a problem it's just gonna take some time to craft things were going quite smoothly but I definitely needed a lot more sulfur so I got to work I mean it should be fine but you just never know in this game bro you just never know I'm dead No way. Why is there like three people at the raid? What? Please. Oh my god. They were waiting. What the hell, dude? Well, I thought things were going smooth. I managed to farm up all the sulfur I needed, but of course I lost my AK, which was not ideal. Whilst waiting for my sulfur to smelt, I hopped on the train and headed inland to try and scout for some Molotov raids. I'm hoping it's not too high. I think it'll be okay. Oh my god, it was too high. Okay, good first, good first raid. <laughs> oh, this one's definitely got, got a wooden door. Oh, it's been raided. No way. This could be good. <laughs> Yo, this is sick. Going through the mountains. 
Oh shit. Oh my god, that's a full metal. Nice. I saw just one. So I'm gonna assume it's just him. Okay, we're just gonna get on the train and leave. Okay. Hopefully you have some goodies. I mean... I'll take it. Not bad. 140 scrap, not bad actually. I mean this thing looks pretty newbie, but... It's, a, it's the only wooden door base I've seen in ages. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, hello man. Wow. I mean... He actually had some stuff. production. <laughs> I had all the sulfur I needed but I had to wait on the charcoal and once that was all done I was ready to raid. Okay okay. Will there be another door? Hopefully not. Oh. Oh, it's open! No way. Door? Any door? Nope, no door. That's fine. I should have bought a door myself. That's kind of rookie. You even have enough! What? They don't even have enough. <laughs> they were kind of broke as well. Um. Well. I guess I could put a wooden door on. <laughs> These guys were broke. Very broke. Um. I'm actually surprised as well because. I mean the components are kind of crazy to be fair but. Other than that, wasn't crazy. <laughs> Definitely wasn't profit, no way. But I mean, hey, the, the scrap was good. Oh, the low grade was good as well. I mean, it was okay. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to take. I could take the tier 2, but eh, whatever. Yeah, cool. Not bad, not bad. And this was where my bus stop adventure came to an end. I ended up joining my allies for a couple of raids before logging off and then I decided to give them the loot I had. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, subscribing would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to reach 50k by the end of the summer and all help is appreciated. Thank you so so much for watching and as always, I'll see you next week for another solo rust adventure. What the f*** is this?